welcome history enthusiasts and curious minds alike. Today we delve into the intricate timeline of the Israel-Gaza conflict. This is a narrative that has been woven over decades, marked by a series of tumultuous events and ceaseless efforts for peace. Understanding this conflict is like piecing together a complex jigsaw puzzle, each piece representing a significant event that has contributed to the larger picture of this ongoing dispute. This story is not just about two opposing factions, but it's also a reflection of the broader geopolitics of the Middle East and the world at large. The Israel-Gaza conflict has shaped and been shaped by the ebb and flow of history, impacting countless lives and influencing global policies. It's a story that may seem distant, yet its repercussions reverberate across the globe, reminding us of the intricate web of interconnections that constitute our world. Join us as we journey through time, unraveling the key events that have shaped this ongoing dispute. Our journey begins in 1987, a pivotal year marked by the birth of Hamas and the start of the first Palestinian Intifada. 1987 was a year of significant change in the Israel-Palestine conflict. It was in this year that Hamas, the Palestinian Islamist group, was formed. Founded with the goal of liberating Palestine from Israeli occupation, Hamas quickly became a key player in the ongoing conflict. In the same year, the first Palestinian Intifada, or uprising, began. Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza Strip rose up against the Israeli occupation, marking a new and intense phase of the conflict. This uprising was characterized by widespread civil disobedience, strikes, boycotts, and clashes with Israeli security forces. While the Intifada was a grassroots movement fueled by widespread frustration and anger, it was also a significant platform for Hamas to establish its presence and influence. These developments in 1987 mark a significant turning point in the Israel-Palestine conflict. The creation of Hamas and the First Intifada signaled a new era of intensified struggle and resistance, setting the stage for the tumultuous years that were to follow. The repercussions of these events continue to shape the dynamics of the conflict to this day. Fast forward to 1993, a hopeful time when the first Oslo Accord was signed, but not without its share of opposition. This historic agreement aimed at establishing peace between Israel and the Palestinians, yet it was met with resistance. One of the key opponents was Hamas, a group that had been created during the first Palestinian Intifada against Israel's occupation of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. The Oslo Accords represented a significant leap towards peace, but the road was far from smooth. Controversy sparked again at the dawn of the new millennium. The year 2000 marked the beginning of the Second Intifada, a period of intensified Israeli-Palestinian conflict. This uprising was ignited by Palestinian protests, triggered by a visit by Israeli opposition leader Ariel Sharon to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, a site of deep religious and national significance to both sides. This period of the Second Intifada saw a surge in violence and counterviolence, further straining relations between Israelis and Palestinians. The hope that had been kindled with the signing of the Oslo Accords seemed to be dimming, as each event further entrenched the divide between the two parties. These events further deepened the divide, setting the stage for an escalation of conflict. As we move into the new millennium, the conflict takes a severe turn. The year 2005 saw a significant shift when Israeli forces made the decision to withdraw from Gaza. This decision left the region under the control of the Palestinian Authority. However, this power dynamic did not remain for long. In the following year, Hamas made a power move by capturing Israeli conscript Gilad Shalit. This action sparked a series of Israeli airstrikes and incursions. The tension between the two sides escalated, leading us into the year 2007, a year marked by the brief yet impactful civil war in Gaza. This civil war saw Hamas wrest control of Gaza from the Palestinian Authority, the takeover by Hamas was a pivotal moment in the history of the region, marking the beginning of a new chapter in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. With Hamas at the helm, the ensuing years were characterized by a series of wars that would have lasting impacts on both sides. In 2008, Israel launched a military offensive in Gaza, leading to a ceasefire. 
However, the ceasefire was short-lived as conflicts reignited in 2012, when Israel killed Hamas's military chief of staff. This act resulted in Palestinian militant rocket fire and renewed Israeli airstrikes. The year 2014 brought another wave of violence when the kidnapping and killing of three Israeli teenagers by Hamas led to a seven-week war. This period, like those before it, was marked by intense fighting and significant loss of life. These years were marked by a series of violent confrontations that led to significant loss and devastation. Bringing us closer to the present day, let's examine the events from 2018 leading up to the current state of the conflict. In 2018, Palestinian protests began at Gaza's border with Israel. This marked the start of a series of events that would escalate the conflict to a full-blown confrontation. The border protests were a significant turning point, sparking a chain reaction of events that would bring us to where we are today. These protests, initially peaceful, but eventually leading to clashes and fighting, were a clear demonstration of the mounting tensions between the two sides. The situation was a powder keg waiting for a spark, and that spark came in May 2021. In that month, tensions escalated dramatically. Clashes between Israeli security forces and Palestinian protesters turned into a full-scale conflict. The situation was a stark reminder of the volatility of the region and the fragility of the peace that had been so painstakingly built over the years. This escalation was not an isolated incident, but rather the culmination of years of unresolved issues and simmering tensions. This conflict resulted in numerous casualties and widespread destruction on both sides. It was a stark reminder of the cost of this ongoing conflict, both in terms of human lives and infrastructure. Efforts were made to de-escalate the situation, with the United States calling for a ceasefire and talks intensifying. However, the damage had been done, and the scars of this conflict will be felt for years to come. This brings us to where we are today. The conflict between Israel and Gaza remains a significant and complex issue. Despite the ceasefire and the efforts to broker peace, the underlying tensions and issues remain unresolved. The situation is a delicate balance, with the potential for further escalation always looming in the background. These events bring us to the present day, where the conflict remains a significant and complex issue. As we conclude this journey, it's clear that the Israel-Gaza conflict is a complex issue, deeply rooted in history. From the birth of Hamas during the First Intifada in 1987, to the signing of the Oslo Accords in 1993, the path has been marked by both confrontation and attempts at peace. The Second Intifada, sparked by Palestinian protests in 2000, signaled a shift in the dynamics of the conflict. This period saw Hamas carry out a series of suicide bombings in Israel, leading to a further escalation in tensions. The Israeli withdrawal from Gaza in 2005 and the subsequent takeover by Hamas in 2007 marked another significant turning point. In the years that followed, a series of wars and ceasefires have punctuated the conflict. The killing of Hamas's military chief of staff in 2012, the kidnapping and killing of three Israeli teenagers in 2014, and the repeated clashes at Gaza's border with Israel have all contributed to the continued volatility of the region. The recent events of 2021 have once again thrust the Israel-Gaza conflict into the global spotlight. Tensions escalated, leading to clashes between Israeli security forces and Palestinian protesters, culminating in a full-scale conflict. The ceasefire that followed while providing a temporary respite underscores the ongoing nature of this conflict. In looking at the history of the Israel-Gaza conflict, it's clear that this is not a simple issue with easy solutions. The conflict is deeply intertwined with broader regional dynamics and power struggles as well as the internal politics of both Israel and the Palestinians. Yet, understanding this history is crucial in making sense of the current state of affairs. It provides a context for the events we see unfolding today and offers a lens through which to view potential future developments. The Israel-Gaza conflict continues to have significant implications for global politics and security. 
It is a reminder of the complexities of international relations and the challenges inherent in resolving long-standing disputes. While the future remains uncertain, understanding the past provides a foundation to navigate the complexities of the present. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey.